folks, uh, welcome to uh, Friday evening of our late evening offices. And in case I forget, um, please remember to join us on Sunday morning um, for our time of worship, uh, which begins at 11 uh, a.m. Uh, and uh, um, I think you'll really enjoy Sunday. I, um, Andrew Brannigan is uh, preaching uh, on Sunday and his message is incredibly strong and powerful for us. Um, so, so please look out for that. 11 a.m. Just go to the YouTube channel, uh, as you have been doing, or to the, the church website, and that will point you to it. Our late evening office, as always, begins on page 162 of your prayer books, uh, or uh, look up on the app, the uh, Church of Ireland Worship app, uh, the Daily Worship app, uh, or go on to the Church of Ireland website and under uh, prayer and worship you'll be able to go into the Book of Common Prayer and find um, uh, the Lady in the office. Blessed be our God for all time, now and forevermore. Amen. Glory to you our God, glory be to you, Holy Spirit, Comforter, Treasure of all goodness and giver of life. Come and dwell in us, cleanse us from all sin, and in your love bring us to salvation. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. The appointed psalm for this evening is Psalm 107, verses 1 through to 32. O give thanks to the Lord, for he is gracious. For his steadfast love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say this, those who redeemed from the hand of the enemy, and gathered out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Some went astray in desert wastes, and found no path to a city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul was fainting within them. So they cried, to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He set their feet on the right way, till they came to a city to dwell in. Let them give thanks to the Lord, for his goodness and the wonders he does for his children. For he satisfies the longing soul, and fills the hungry soul with good. Some sat in darkness, and in the shadow of death, bound fast in misery and iron. For they had rebelled against the words of God, and despised the counsel of the Most High. So he bowed down their heart with heaviness, and they stumbled and were, there was none to help them. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He brought them out of darkness and out of the shadow of death, and broke their bonds asunder. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his goodness. The wonders he does for his children, for he has broken the doors of bronze and breaks the bars of iron in pieces. Some were foolish and took a rebellious way and were plagued because of their wrongdoing. Their soul abhorred all manner of food and drew near to the gates of death. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble and he delivered them from their distress. He sent forth his word and healed them and saved them from destruction. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and the wonders he does for his children. Let them offer him sacrifices of thanksgiving and tell of his acts with shouts of joy. Those who go down to the sea in ships and ply their trade in great waters, these have seen the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. For at his word the stormy wind arose, and lifted up the waves of the sea. They were carried up to the heavens, and down again to the deep. Their soul melted away in their peril. They reeled, and staggered like a drunkard, and were at their wit's end. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he brought them out of their distress. He made the storm be still, and the waves of the sea were calmed. Then they were glad because they were at rest, and he brought them to the haven they desired. 
Let them give thanks to the Lord for his goodness, and the wonders he does for his children. Let them exalt him in the congregation of the people. Praise him in the council of the elders. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. short reading tonight, uh, the, God, the uh, New Testament reading from 1 Peter uh, chapter 1, uh, beginning at verse 13. Therefore, prepare your minds for action, be self-controlled, set your hope fully on the grace to be given you when Jesus Christ is revealed. As obedient children, do not conform to the evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance but just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, be holy because I am holy. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Just tying a few of those things together from our psalm and from uh, our reading from First Peter. The book, uh, the first letter uh, that Peter wrote, um, were to a large group of Christians scattered across an area of Asia Minor, which is uh, today is, is modern day Turkey. Uh, and he, he's talking to them specifically about the new beginning, the new life, the new family, the new identity, that they have in Christ. And he's there to encourage them because they are being persecuted. And in this passage, uh, he, he talks uh, about the living hope uh, and as a result of that living hope to prepare themselves in how they uh, approach their daily lives. Uh, and in particular, he talks about as obedient children, not to conform to the evil ways of what they used to live, but now they are called to this new identity, this new family, uh, to be holy. Today, in our current circumstances that continue to go on regarding the coronavirus, we, as I've said all along, have that hope. But I wonder, do we need to be reminded yet again of what our Lord has brought his people through? How he has rescued them, how he has saved them. Because that, folks, has to be the message that we get out of our mouths and get out to the community around us. We may not be able to do it physically at the minute, but we can do it through the likes of these services or um, uh, through uh, what we do as a church, through the Together campaign that, that, that we um, are helping to run. There are ways of getting that hope out for people. What are you going to do about that? Are you going to allow it to be the thing that the minister does? That's not how the gospel works. You have that hope within you, that hope of Christ that was willing to not just go to the cross for you, but was to give you the hope of what is to come. So that's the hope and the good message that we have that we can give right now. And in our psalm, we see in the psalm, uh, and it's beautifully laid out, amazing things that are done by God for the people even though they at times have rebelled. <clears throat> there is a love that stretches into the desert. We see that at the beginning of our reading. There's a love that stretches to free the captives. There's the love that stretches to those who are sick and in pain. And then the final part of our reading tonight 
is a love that stretches to those that are caught in the rages of a storm. The desert place. Those in captivity. Those who are sick and in pain. And those that are in the rages of a storm. As representatives of Christ with that new identity in each one of us. Surely tonight's message, the message of hope, is a great opportunity to tell others. For those that are in a place that is that they're lost in, that desert place. Jesus wants them to know that he's there for them. For those that are caught up captive by maybe things that are going on in their lives, maybe um, temptations, maybe addictions, Jesus has come to free them. For those who are sick or who are suffering, Jesus has come to bring healing. And then finally, those that are caught up in the rage of a storm who can't find any way through, Jesus is there to calm the soul. What a message. What hope. We continue with the Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And now we move into a time of prayer. Let us pray to the Lord with all of our heart and with all our soul. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for all Christian people that they may live in love and truth. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for all ministers of the church and for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for peace throughout the world and for all governments. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for our neighbours and for all our friends. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for those who hate us as we pray for those who love us. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for refugees and prisoners and for all who are exposed to the dangers of travel. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for all sick people for the sorrowful and the dying. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for the abundance of the fruits of the earth and that the poor and the hungry may receive a just share. Lord, have mercy. Let us remember our brothers and sisters who have entered into eternal rest. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Let us now continue in a time of prayer. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you promised through your Son, Jesus Christ, to hear the prayers of all those who ask in faith. Lord of your people, strengthen your church in all the world. May we uh, know our, our, our call by you to go and make uh, disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. So Father, we pray that in these times when we are not meeting together, we won't give up, that we will give an opportunity for your Spirit to open our minds and our thoughts to what could be. Lord, we think ahead to Sunday services, and we think, Lord, about the service that will begin specifically for our, our children at half past ten. And we pray, Lord, that, that will be a great opportunity for a new a level of outreach into those homes. Lord, we pray 
for uh, your word on Sunday that will be spoken. Uh, Lord, we pray that we will have hearts that are open to hear what you would say to us in these times. Renew the life of this, our Diocese of Connor. And would you bless George, our bishop uh, elect? And would you build us up in faith and love? Lord of creation, look with favour on the world that you've made. Guide the nations in the ways of justice and peace. And bless Elizabeth, our Queen, and all those in authority and those that at this time have difficult decisions to make about the future. So we think, Lord, uh, uh, about the decisions as to when to relax um, certain um, restrictions at the moment. Lord, that those will be done uh, with sensitivity, with wisdom, uh, and with uh, people's safety very much in mind. Lord, of our relationships, comfort and sustain the communities in which we live and work. We pray for those who are working at this time uh, to, ma to maintain a level um, of uh, safety, uh, a level of care, uh, and a level of normality uh, to our community. So we think of doctors, nurses, security staff, uh, we think of the, even the security staff that are manning the doors of shops. Lord, for our police service, our ambulance and our fire services. We pray for all key workers that are out uh, uh, doing uh, tasks uh, uh, around our community at this time. Would you help us, Lord, in these times to help to love our neighbours as ourselves, and we think in particular of the Valley Clare Together uh, program that goes out across to Doak and to uh, Burnside and uh, as far as Ballymuir here and uh, right across the area. Lord, an opportunity uh, to show that love to people who are in tough times. Enable us, Lord, to serve our families and friends and to love one another just as you love us. And so, Lord of all healing, relieve and protect those who are sick or suffering at this time. Be with those who have any special need. And in a moment of silent prayer, we lift before God those people known to us who need his comfort, his healing and his care. Finally, Lord, we pray for ourselves at this time. And Lord, we pray that we will not uh, waste the time that we have, that we will use this time to spend more, more time with you, to hear your word, to sit on your word and to read it daily, to guide us for how our futures will look, to maybe begin in our thinking new things that will happen to, uh, uh, for us and Lord that we would be obedient to hear your will uh, for our lives for the future and so gracious God grant that the desires of your people's hearts may find favour in your sight through the intercession of Jesus Christ our Lord Amen collect for Sunday past, the second Sunday of Easter. Almighty Father, you have given your only Son to die for our sins and to rise for our justification. Grant us so to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness, that we may always serve you in pureness of living and truth, through the merits of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And at the end of this day, we thank God through the words of the Lord's Prayer, a prayer that reminds us of how holy our God is. We thank him as we come to him as a God of mercy, a God of forgiveness and grace. And so 
we pray in this prayer for forgiveness for our sins. We ask him that he would guide us by his spirit to avoid those temptations, that we would continually do his will, and, Lord, that, that, and that the Lord would provide for our every need. And so we pray, our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord Almighty, come and scatter the darkness of our hearts by the light of your presence, that we may know you, the light of the world, and the one true God, blessed this night and forevermore. Amen. And so let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Almighty and merciful God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless us and keep us. Amen. Folks, we look forward to seeing you on Sunday morning. Uh, join with us as we worship God, we give thanks to him, and we hear from his word. Have uh, a great weekend.